Hello Sagittarius, welcome to a love reading. We're going to be looking at how your person is currently thinking, feeling about you. What do you need to know about their intentions towards you and possible next actions? Um, all of that will be in this reading. Keep in mind these uh, readings are meant to be general, so they will not resonate with every Sagittarius 100%. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. All right, spirit, angels, guides, what message do you have for Sagittarius regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time? What is this person thinking, feeling? What are their energies? Sagittarius. What are their thoughts, energies, feelings towards Sagittarius? The person Sagittarius is thinking about, connecting with at this time. What is this person thinking, feeling about you? Strength, Leo energy, justice, Libra energy, and the Four of Cups. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, we have the Devil, Capricorn energy. For some reason, I'm getting this energy that your person, when they think about you, when they think about your connection, um, they're thinking that you are almost like a force to be reckoned with, like you're not to be messed with. I'm also getting the sense that they think if they don't do things right with you, they will lose you. I feel like you would drop the hammer. Um, I'm also thinking with this devil energy at the bottom of the deck that this person's doing a lot of thinking, a lot of focusing on whatever's happening right now between you and this person. Um, maybe they're thinking that they need to make things right. Um, maybe they're thinking that they need to be brave to address whatever needs to be addressed. We'll see when I clarify all of these, but these are just the general um, energies I'm picking up like right away when I look at the cards. So we'll know more when I clarify. I think there's something going on where like I feel like they see you as this justice card. Again, you're not to be messed with or there's something different about you. Let's get some more energies out here. Spirit, what do we need to know for Sagittarius? What energies do we need to know? What are this person's energies towards Sagittarius or this connection? Four of Cups is telling me that someone is almost like, I think, worried that you're not interested or worried you'll reject them. But we'll see, um, because I'm also picking up that this person could just be thinking a lot about what's already happened. This person's energies. Towards Sagittarius, what are their energies? Okay. Hidden feelings, silence, suppression, fear. Don't let fear keep you from revealing your true feelings and deep regret. There's regret over past actions. This person, yeah, they're thinking about what's happened already. Bottom of the deck, we have divine timing, trust in divine timing. Um, maybe there, this is a situation where um, something happened between you that this person is regretting. And maybe they're hoping that um, if the time is right, they can address this. Hidden feelings is telling me that whatever they're doing right now, whatever they're thinking about you, they haven't expressed it. I just, something's off with this hidden feelings, but I can't put it into words. What is this person thinking, feeling about Sagittarius? Let's see if I can get some insight with the secret moon. What are this person's thoughts, feelings when it comes to Sagittarius? I don't know what to do. What are this person's thoughts, feelings towards Sagittarius? What do we need to know? What are they thinking? I want a second chance. Okay. But there's something a little off here with hidden feelings. I'm working on myself at the bottom of the deck. So let's see if this comes up when I clarify these energies. Let's start with strength. Why is strength here? Spirit? Tell me about strength. Now strength is typically a card about control. 
uh, using a different approach, a different method to bring something back under submission, back into control. And it takes a special strength to do that. Tell me about strength. Tell me about strength. Judgment. Oh yeah, this person, this is tied to a second chance that this person wants. They want to revive something or they're realizing something about what has already happened with deep regret, perhaps. Um, I think this person thinks that they use a different method, a different approach. They'll be able to have this re uh, resurrection of your connection, this second chance. Let's see. Can I get one more for uh, strength? Tell me more about strength. Why is strength here? Three of Pentacles. Let's work together. Let's build a foundation. Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So maybe this person had something um, to, well, obviously they do have something to be regretful for. I was going to say this person probably has something to be regretful for regarding a third person or another person. Um, but I'm getting this is like that hidden feelings energy. Like there's something that maybe this person hid from you. Maybe you caught them in a lie or um, it's almost like they want to reassure you. I'm getting with this three of pentacles. I'm working on myself. Let's work together. You know, I've changed. Now, I don't know what to do is here, which tells me this person, perhaps it's it's not up to them. The outcome of this. Tell me about justice. Why is justice here? Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this is you. You're looking great. You're you're doing great. Um, you're someone to be admired. But again, I feel like um, there's something here, Sagittarius, where it's almost like you're too good for this, or you've rec you've, you've recognized your worth, and you're not. You're just not going to accept the same old, same old. Um, Okay, I just got the message that your eyes are open to something. You're able to see something clearly. And that gives you a, like a confidence. Tell me about justice. Why is justice here? Ah, oh, seven of wands. Yeah, again, you're not to be messed with. What's this? The lovers. Gemini energy. Eight of wands. I think that this person wants to approach you they recognize that you are in this seven of wands energy almost like a guarded energy and you're not going to just accept whatever this person has to bring you i think that there, you had a very strong connection with this person and maybe you missed some red flags or you weren't able to see things as clearly with this person because your connection was so strong but Again, I'm getting this message that your eyes are open. You're very aware, very aware of this person. Um, maybe you think about them a lot and it's like, you know, you have some instinctive, I don't know, knowledge. Um, it's like you know something about this person, even if you're not in contact with them. Yeah, Eight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune with the Knight of Cups after that. This person is hoping for a change. Um, I feel like they want to 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 move things along um, with this Knight of Cups, uh, which I think might be an apology. Yeah, and there's the Tower after that. Um, maybe this is a surprise apology or something. But anyways, whatever contact or message, whatever action with the Eight of Wands, it's meant to move things forward. It's meant to set things in motion. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? Why is the Four of Cups here? Two of Wands. Okay, this is that I don't know what to do energy. Knight of Wands, yeah. Can I get one more? 
with the Four of Cups. This person is expecting rejection or they're expecting the Seven of Wands. Three of Wands, the Hierophant, Nine of Wands. Yeah, they're expecting you to be like this. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure about this, this, this offer or whatever this is. I feel like you might leave this person on red <laughs> or make them wait for your decision. Now the higher font is here, Taurus energy, very interesting energy. Um, I feel like they're going to come in hot, but they're going to come in like serious and traditional. I think when it comes to when this energy of I don't know what to do, I think it's because it's not up to them. So they can feel bad all they want. They can have intentions towards you all they want. Um, but it's almost like their hands are tied regard in regards to if this moves forward or not. And so I think that's what, it's like they don't know what to do with themselves. Let's see what are their intentions, next actions. Spirit, what are their intentions towards Sagittarius? What are this person's intentions? Next possible actions towards the Sagittarius. What are their intentions? Next possible actions towards Sagittarius. Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Six of Pentacles. I feel their intention is to even things out, balance things out, fix things. Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck is telling me, again, it's it's almost like they don't really, they're not really sure if this is going to be successful. Ten of Pentacles after that, Ace of Swords. How is this conversation going to go? How is this message going to be received? When I tell Sagittarius the truth, will they believe me? And there's the devil again. So I feel like this person is thinking about this a lot. I'm not picking up restriction. I'm not picking up stuck energy, although that very well could be that someone is stuck in an unhealthy mindset or environment, um, or maybe their choices let them astray. But more than anything, I'm picking up almost like a, a deep need, deep desire. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or someone that has Capricorn in their chart. Um, it, it, it's almost like this person cannot rest unless this is like addressed, you know. Now there's the two of swords again. So I feel this person is stuck and their hands are tied in a sense because they don't know if they will have success. I feel like this person is not used to losing. Maybe they're not used to not being in control. Um, but in this situation, they definitely don't have control. It's almost like they, they're going to contact you and they have no idea. It could go either way. You know, it could go either way. Sagittarius could give me a chance or this could blow up in flames. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Uh, again, the devil. I think this person, yeah, two, two of pentacles, five of pentacles, and the high priestess. Yeah, they, 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 they basically are struggling with the fact that this is not theirs to control. That the future is in question. This person is very insecure. Very insecure. Um, I also get the sense that Part of the problem is that they haven't spoken up or they should have spoken up before. What's behind this? I wish I could be with you. Yeah, I think this person is just, you know, I see you in my dreams after that. They're wishing for a change in their circumstances, but it's not up to them. If it was up to them, they wouldn't even be, con none of this would be an issue. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoy this bonus reading all about your person. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed the reading. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in another video very soon.